Good morning. It's Monday morning, 8 a.m. The day after Easter Sunday. Kids, my grandkids still um, are on vacation. There's no school today. Let me turn the camera around. Ooh, I'm scary. We live on a corner lot here. And I'm being careful where I walk because this neighborhood has a lot of dog walkers. Most of them will pick up their own, their own doggies, little messies, but not all of them. Fun. Anyway, check out that sky. Isn't that gorgeous? you all stretched out. He's potting this week. Maybe this afternoon. So here I am having my coffee. Okay, in my robe. It's cold out here. Like I said, it's 8 o'clock. I got a doctor's appointment today. Um... I'm going to do something a little different this week. I'm going to try to put up daily vlogs. I have a couple of projects that I wanted to film and upload. Um, but I think I'm missing one item for one of the projects. Anyway, the days that I upload a DIY or, you know, something... A fun video what I call fun video because I love doing those on those days I won't do a vlog <clears throat> but um oh I look awful hey <laughs> so those days I won't do vlogs on um, probably more than likely I'll upload this vlog or clips of this and scare you because <laughs> I look scary so anyway that's what I'm going to do. After I have my coffee, I'm going to go and get myself ready for my doctor's appointment. And then, um, I don't know, film some of it. Add it for today's vlog. Here's Kitty. Kitty, Kitty, she just had breakfast? Are you licking your jumpers with that good breakfast? They left the broom here. They're sweeping up still. We still gotta sweep up some of that Easter confetti, huh? Come on up. Come on, baby boy. Just stay out of my coffee. Rain. The kitty happy. Did you see the pearly? Here you. Silent prayer, huh? the neighborhood guard kitty aren't you yes you are come on don't be camera shy It's 11 o'clock right now, and I'm going to show you how all those clouds got blown away. Okay, I am in the car now, and I'm going to do like a little car vlog, I guess. I'm in my little tiny Honda, and I can actually, there's actually a place I can actually place the, the phone in. 
I use a cell phone for my camera because I have, let's see, three vlogging cameras. One really old, older one, it's a Kodak. Mm, I haven't even tried to use that for a long time. Back when I first got it, I would just use that. That was way before I, I did videos or, you know, got my YouTube channel or anything like that. So I basically used it um, just for like still photos for my grandbabies. And that was fun. And I still haven't figured out how to take those photos from years ago out of there because they're really good pictures. Anyway, as you can see tell by what I by what I'm saying I'm, I'm not computer savvy I um, learn as I go I ask questions I research and I do the majority of my research on YouTube because there's a lot of good information here on YouTube um, there's a lot of helpful people there so yeah that's what I do okay now my other vlogging camera it's a little tiny I think it's a Samsung and I've showed it before on, on videos before well the battery finally well I figured it's the battery that went kaput on it so I actually went to like um, Walmart and Office Depot and they were they um, suggested that I go on onto the Samsung website and order a new battery there and let's see and then I got a newer version of a Samsung um, camera it's a little bit different style I I believe I purchased both of those cameras on QVC I got them on their easy pay program and anyway that newer version one is an awesome camera vlogging camera for videoing um, you can zoom in and out it's easy to maneuver and use and I love it love 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 it but I lost in my house someplace in my house um, I lost the wire that I can um, the wire that I transfer the videos from the camera to my laptop can't find it for the life of me and that camera does have like one of those little those little I don't know what you call them see I'm not that computer savvy um so yeah it has that little chip or I don't know what you call it I don't know what to do with it I don't have I would love to someday ha get a an Apple desktop computer but I don't have that um, I do have an Apple phone that's what I'm um, or iPhone that's what I use for my you know to record my videos and I love it I love it it's convenient because it's always with me I just whip it out and start vlogging but anyway um, so yeah, I'm super sad that I, I haven't found that wire. I really need it. I guess when I finally um, hunker down and get on the Samsung website to purchase the battery for my older version of vlogging camera, I will also look for a, a cord for the newer version. I just may as well purchase them both at the same time. And I won't feel too bad about purchasing it, you know, when I finally find the lost cord in my house, um, because it's always good to have extra, extra charging cords or those types of things. And yes, I do need to get organized with my cameras, get a nice little camera bag, or I do have this really cute cosmetic caboodle bag that I've never used for cosmetics. I purchased it from a friend of mine, a co-worker um, who has gone I, she goes to like the garments 
section or the garment district up in Los Angeles and she comes back with really good stuff and when I was working with her I would always I would always go check out her stuff um, on our break time I'd go out to the parking lot and look at her car she would have it all in her trunk and um, yeah I'd go crazy with all that good stuff she had some really good stuff bags purses wallets caboodles and that's where I bought the caboodle she even had like winter blankets really soft I bought one of those from her it's my favorite blanket but I'm thinking about that cab caboodle it's like a pretty brown color with tan polka dots it's really cute and I'm thinking of um, using that for my little camera bag just to kind of sort of get myself organized with my wires, cameras, batteries, etc. Because, you know, I have these things and I'm not using them. They're just sitting there and that that bothers me. It bothers me to have things that I'm not using. And I do want to use them. But, I, you know, I've got that mentality that if I'm not using it, somebody else can get use out of it. And it's a shame if it's just sitting in my house someplace collecting dust well I'm just rattling on so seven minutes I am going to turn off this video because I'm almost there I'm so excited that in this car, my old car, this is my old little Honda. I really, it's got a gazillion miles on it, but I love this car. It needs a lot of TLC, what I call makeup. Um, but this car, I love it because it's got me through lots. It's hanging in there. I used to, I'm off of work, obviously. I'm still employed, but I'm off of work trying to recuperate from some work injuries. Can't talk about it too much right now, but I've always worked out of town. And um, this little car, that's where I accumulated all the, the um, miles from my, you know, working. It's just like this little car became part of me because... Like, one of the jobs I worked at, one of the facilities is um, really far. It was a two-hour commute one way, so I was on the road literally four hours a day. But I loved that place that I worked at. Plus, it was near the, uh, the coast. Um, and I was trying to hang in there. I wanted to move. I really wanted to move just to keep that job out there. But this little, little car, this tiny little car, kept me going. Um, it was, it's good on gas, dependable. Got me through the rain and had to take a couple of the highways and long, whiny country roads to get to this place. Um, and I really wanted to move out there. It was, it's kind of close to Paso Robles. And Paso Robles is about 20, it's 20 miles away from the actual beach, the coast there. It's just beautiful over there. And that's, that was my dream, to be able to find a rental or something out that way and, and um, keep working at that facility out that way in Avenal. It was in Avenal where, where I'm talking about. And um, I, I had some really wonderful co-workers and that was my first uh, time that I actually entered as a state employee so I really I really enjoyed that job the challenge um, it was a good position good pay good people awesome place to work but I transferred closer to home still out of town but it was um, a 45 minute drive one way commute 
and I stayed there the longest and that's I did lots of overtime I had a second position at that facility there was just so many opportunities and I took them because you know my kids are not kids they're all grown I'm a grandma I didn't not married you know didn't have anything that kept me coming home and, and keeping up that traditional lifestyle so I was just always working and um, earning that money so I would spoil my grandbabies spoiled them rotten too but yeah that was fun it's not fun what I'm going through now no income I've been off of work for a long time keep coming to these doctor's appointments trying just all kinds of fun stuff that goes along with it it's frustrating but anyway I don't know I might edit some of this out it's TMI I don't like to do TMI stuff so I gotta get in there I actually I was gonna turn this phone off a while back but I keep yapping away and I'm here already toodles here I am leaving the doctor's office. You can kind of see the trains parked back there behind that wall straight ahead. And I just want to show parts of Jastro Park. It's a really pretty park here downtown Bakersfield. I love their tennis courts. Mostly in oil dough, but they're pretty much all over Bakersfield. Here's Truxton Park, parts of it. You can see what a beautiful sky it is. And here, come, coming up to the right, is the Truxton Lake. You will be able to see some ducks playing in the water. Some people parked up here, off into the low coves, fishing. Quite a, few people, quite a few people fishing today. Such a pretty day. Please excuse my windshield. I haven't driven this car in a very long time. I do need to clean it. Have it washed really well inside and out. But here is just such a pretty day. You can see the wind hitting the water on the Truxton Lake. don't mind me showing this part of the vlog or sticking this in the vlog I just love the water I wish I lived at the beach actually I'd be at the water every day but I don't this is um, close the closest to the water I live is Kern River Truxton Lake you can see how the drought has really affected because up here to the right that's all the Kern River it's dry completely dried out. See that? That's the river. river dead. The drought's pretty bad here. There's a little canal. Okay, I'm on my way back home now. Not much going on. Today's Monday, of course. I probably said at the beginning of the video. It's Monday, the day after Easter Sunday. Um... The kids are still not back in school, not till tomorrow. Sorry about that, the steering wheel thingy. Anyway, kids are not back in school until tomorrow, so it's still a holiday over here. If it's still a holiday over there where you're at, wherever you're at, please, um, let's have some reports, build some report here, guys. Put down in the comment section where you're from and if you're having a holiday today too as well if it's still Easter sun or Easter or spring break or whatever the there you know you call it or it's called 
all of the above for me it's Easter vacation spring break um, so yeah that's about all that's going on with me I'm gonna go home grab some lunch and probably go ahead and start editing this vlog because like I said earlier I'm gonna try something new this week and it's just for this week I'm gonna upload every single day if I don't have one of my favorite fun videos which what I call favorite funds like when I do my DIYs or cooking or you know something planned um, then I will put a daily vlog I do have a couple things planned so I'm not sure how many daily vlogs we're going to get out this week but my goal is to upload a video every single day this week I think I did last week I think I actually um, uploaded all but one day so I, I don't know I like I, I get that feeling of fulfillment completion um, that's why I want to upload every day because I love doing this I love um, building my channel it's a form of releasing my creation my creativity with you know this is a new way for me to do it with um, vlogging style oh and I am having a little bit of a challenge learning how to do my daily blog well anyway I have to follow some protocols and one of them I wasn't doing which was up uh, blogging every day and I do have that free blogging through Google and I love it but I also have another one through through Wix and I purchased a domain and I've done nothing with them so that's my challenge to get that up and running and figure out how to do it so I'm gonna get off the car now I'll show you the sky again <laughs> day today. I love the temperature out here. It's not hot and it's not too cold. It's just cool. Kind of coastal weather feeling. Which is where I should be living. At the beach. It's windy out here. I just want to show these orange blossoms. back inside now I am going to end the vlog here because I'm having one of those bad days I don't feel very well and so toodles <laughs>